We're running! <laughs> Hello and welcome to this week's edition of the latest in hobby robotics. My name is Fritz Ludeborg, I am sitting in Denmark in my workshop. And on my left I have my good friend Andrew. And uh, Andrew, you've been look Hello! Andrew, you've been looking at uh, a cool robot, Mr. Lobster, right? Yeah, yeah. What's, what's cool is that uh, there's a lot of innovations in robotics coming out of universities. So like, uh, and, I, and I love when we start to see those innovations leak into hobby robotics. So I was looking at uh, Case Western University came up with uh, a series of robots. They use uh, a combination of wheel and leg on these robots. And then another cool one is uh, University of Pennsylvania has the Rex robot platform, and they've got these semicircular things they use as legs, and they're really pretty interesting looking. So we have a robot that a friend made. Uh, uh, let's make robots called Mr. Lobster, made by our user uh, Telefox. And uh, there's so much innovation in this one robot. First of all, it uses the WEGS concept, which is just very cool and organic looking. And then uh, he uses solar cells to power it, but they're not powering a battery like you might see normally. He actually put a fuel cell on this. He built a fuel cell, and it's uh, that's how he's... Uh, that's how he's running the little robot. A hydrogen and oxygen tank uh, and a fuel cell are on the road, right on board on the little robot. It's uh, very cool looking. That's pretty cool. I, and uh, as I understand, you can get those uh, tiny fuel cells. Actually, you, you can buy them. They are readily available. So you can actually make an, uh, an environmental... That's, this is very hard to say for someone not native English speaking. Environmental... I can't say that stuff. But you can make... Environmentally conscientious. Exactly. You can make one of them green robots. <laughs> Uh, yourself yes. actually <laughs> yes green's easy to say <laughs> green yeah a green robot so yeah very cool project definitely <clears throat> have you got a tip for us as well this week yeah I do there's um one of our uh, one of our guys uh, on the site oddbot who's a very talented person right oddbot and uh, yes he's done so many cool things and he likes, likes loves to share his knowledge so he shared this tip about uh, sometimes you might have uh, an Arduino or another processor and you, you just want to be able to press a simple button and have it shift between modes of operation. So you, you press the button, it does one thing, you press the button again, it moves on to another mode and then it cycles through. So for example, if you wanted to have uh, a robot or a toy that like uh, has different modes of operation, so you, you, you comes on the first time and it'll be um, randomly seeking around the room looking for stuff. Uh, you press it again and maybe it goes into play mode and it uh, does little playful routines. You press it again and maybe it plays plays songs and dances. You know, each time you press it, it does something new. Nice one. Interesting. Yeah. Definitely. And it's it's very well documented as always from up up, right? Right, yeah. He's, he's great at sharing knowledge and uh, you know, he started out as a robot hobbyist and then actually now works professionally uh, doing that. So he's a very talented person, as we like yes, to say. Yes, he is. Thank you very much for watching this time. It's a short show. It's something new we try. Thank you. See you next week. Bye-bye.